Is there a magical way that'll let you know right away whether a girl's interested in you or not when you approach her? You bet your goddamn ass there is, and in this video I'm gonna show you in field of myself approaching girls what these signs of disinterest look like so you can get the hell out of there and abort the mission before it's too late. If you identify these signs, these will save you your precious time and the embarrassment of getting rejected. I'll also show you what signals to look for that the girl is flustered and she wants you to continue the conversation with her, you Stud. So here's the first sign. She's absorbed in her phone. Excuse me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Gee, you, you type like a secretary on that thing, eh? Now I got her attention. She looks up at me. She sees me, gives me an uninterested and half-assed hi, and goes back to her phone. It's not looking pretty. But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Her grandma could have died like two minutes ago. You never know when you talk to people that you don't know what's going on in their life. It's important to address the elephant in the room here. I'm not going to just keep continually talking to her while she's on her phone. I want to call that out, but I'm going to do it in a playful manner. It's a lot more playful to go about it like that. I am a secretary. Like, are you? I am. You're, I've never seen somebody type so quick. No? No, not yet. Wow. How did I know? I don't know. I don't know how you knew. <laughs> I, was just, I was just walking by and I wanted to meet you real quick. Than it is to say, you not see me right here? I'm over here talking to you, okay? Why are you on your phone? Right? If I were to say it like that, it would just be awkward, okay? Now, the second sign is just unenthusiastic responses in general. I've just gone ahead and guessed her occupation, and she's not exactly rolling out the red carpet to continue the conversation here. I mean, what's up, right? Like, she's just kind of going through the motions. She's just kind of tolerating me being here at this point, okay? But fellas, don't get discouraged when you approach a girl and the conversation is like this at first, right? It's not her job to take control of that conversation. It's your job, right? You went up and approached her. Don't just sit back, relax, kick your feet up and call it a day, right? Because you still have to take control of that ship. You're the captain. You have to steer that conversation towards smoother seas, right? You have to lead the conversation. So what's your name? I'm Honey. Tony, Devin. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're cute and all, but that handshake needs a little work. So number three is any kind of physical distancing. Now we're about 30 seconds in here. At this point, if you notice that she's taking a step back, leaning back from you or trying to create some distance, she gives you like a half-assed wet noodle handshake like she did in this particular situation, right? You want to call that out, but you still want to be playful about it, okay? Usually at this point in the conversation, you'll know if a girl is somewhat interested in you. She'll contribute at least something. If she's shy, she'll, you know, play with her hair, she'll look flustered, she'll be giving you those anime eyes. Number four is a lack of eye contact when you're speaking to her. The eyes are the windows to the soul. As I was talking to her, her friend came and joined the party, right? If this happens to you guys, don't get nervous introduce yourself and then you can ask the friends how they know each other right that's a good way to get them both to open up and it also creates rapport with you as well too we that's even lived together at one point we did yeah. we lived together like about a year ago yeah. we're about to live together in about three months right yeah her friend actually started contributing to the conversation a lot more than the girl that i originally approached and as you can see in this example, her eyes are still glued to her phone. She's kind of leaning away. She's checked out from the conversation. I mean, guys, it's pretty much a lost cause here. Now, normally I would have abandoned ship and just moved on to the next girl. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when you ask for a girl's number and she's not interested in you. I was going to ask your friend here for her number. My number? Yeah. That's okay. I don't have number. But I'd say we could write each other letters. Like yeah, that's <laughs> I do, but I just, I don't want you like liking all my photos and videos. Obviously it's better to leave before you get to this point, but let's say you do think the girl's interested in you and you misread the signs, right? If she says anything like, I don't have a phone, I don't have a phone number, it's 2023, okay? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> let's just say that she actually didn't have a phone or she didn't have a phone number. She'd say something like, oh, I don't have a phone. It got stolen in my locker. I left it in the gym. Or, oh, I just lost my phone. I'm in the process of getting another one back. Whatever the case is, she'll try to justify it. She won't just leave it at that like our friend did in this example here. The Instagram was just a soft way of letting me down, right? Don't settle for an Instagram because girls are getting bombarded by guys on there more than willing to give away their free attention and heart every picture that she posts. Always go for the number. 
as a very last resort, go for the Instagram if you have to. But then again, I wasn't really feeling this girl, so I didn't bite on the Instagram. I didn't really care. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, how long should you guys wait to see if she's interested in you or not, to feel out the vibe? In general, I would say about a minute to a minute and a half, you'll know. If it still feels like you're pulling teeth to make conversation with the girl after that point in time, move on! On to the next OTTN, fellas. And if you're wondering how you can go about continuing the conversation with a girl who's interested in you, you can watch this video right here.